Sunday Morning in Virginia by Winslow Homer, 1877. There are two distinct groups, as you pointed out. Uh, there is this group, which to me, if I have to jump from the inductive and deductive to the abductive, it's all about hope. Because with literacy, which is so often connected to poverty, uh, with literacy will come greater opportunity and greater hopefulness. And the diametrically opposite to this figure is the figure of the mammy who is hopelessness. She's already lived out her life. She's at an older age. And so becoming literate is not an option for her because uh, she's not very interested. It's too, too much of a struggle for her. Uh, so she's looking out and you see that pain and struggle in her face. And for those of you who are far away, I encourage you to look at this uh, up close when you're done. But again, you know, the curiosity, the hopefulness, the, the feeling of love and compassion that's in this group, and the outsider feeling, if you're not in the group, if you're out of it, how does that feel to be marginalized, to be left on the other side? So that divide is what has really come into play in this particular image, in my opinion. And again, uh, like Lynn said, it, it's a genre painting, which means it's a scene from everyday life. It's the inside of a very, very modest home. Okay, the floors are you know, almost cleaned out. It's, it's so bare, uh, very dark inside. And uh, the, the only you know, the way your eye rests naturally is the figure of the teacher in the white clothes, the, the necklace, the book, and the light seems to shine on her. Uh, which goes to say that maybe, you know, going against lit illiteracy is the way to go. To consciously become much more knowing in, in education.